uh, some struggle with the prospect of returning to the demanding social interactions of work or school. For others, the fears are stoked by their own family. WCPO 9 News anchor Kristen Swilly spoke to those navigating the demands of re-emerging in your family and a psychologist who also has some advice here on what to tell those you love. Whether it's a little babysitting or a full on family trip, the social demands from relatives are leaving some people feeling stressed. It's been kind of a whirlwind. Uh, it's shocking how rapidly it's uh, reopened. For Richard Larson and his family, the race back to normal feels closer to the finish line each day. Almost reaching the point where I don't know that it's necessarily busier than it was before, but it's getting to that point. Larson, who has family in Utah and children itching for a vacation, was ready to reemerge. I think the world is rapidly getting back to its pace and uh, you need to probably join in. But psychologist Michelle Megley says many have mixed emotions. They're worried about picking COVID up and letting people down. A recent poll from the American Psychiatric Association shows concern about COVID-19 and how it could impact family members is at 64 percent. And then there are social concerns. Though we may have the time available, it doesn't mean we have the emotional energy available. She says this is especially true when it comes to family members who may take the desire to stay distanced personally. Well, I think with family, there's that extra layer of feeling of obligation. Um, you know, I think that people have had a lot of losses this year and a um, big reminder that there's only so much time left for many of our loved ones, for ourselves, and we want to cram it all in. But she says trying to spend more time with your family than you're comfortable with isn't the solution this moment demands. And I think it's important to recognize the importance of quality over quantity. It's not just about the amount of time we spend with people, but are we really present? Megley says choosing to create meaningful moments is the best medicine. And I think patience with ourselves, patience with each other, knowing that we're all navigating this awkward world right now, um, the, the patience will, will pay off in spades, I think. Dr. Megley says one of the easiest ways to keep from getting overwhelmed by obligations without feeling shut out from the world is to pick one night of the week for social interactions and stick with it. Kristen Swilly, WCPL 9 News.